Hey friends, Megan Elizabeth from ByMeganElizabeth.com, founder and creator of She Makes Club. And I'm really, really pumped that we're going live tonight because I have been working uh, for several months now on this new 31 day She Makes Her Life journey that starts on May 1st. And I, I don't know if this is going to sound really awful or really make a lot of sense once I say it, but truly, 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 I have not worked this intensely hard, this excitedly for this many days conse consecutively on something in a very long time. And it feels so good. Um, I have just been feeling so creative and inspired by, and I just feel like floodgates are opening in doing this new 31 day. She makes her life journey. Um, I started doing a 30 day challenge. Uh, I think it was in 2000, 13 or 2014 was my first one that I did publicly 30 day challenge kind of started out of wanting to help my team, uh, be able to build new habits, understand, uh, and build upon day by day, how to grow their online businesses and be creative every single day and share things every single day. Hey, Katina Martinez, thanks for joining. And it's something that, uh, we did and, and truly the challenge quote unquote challenge. I don't call it a challenge anymore because I feel like with my whole heart, we don't need one more challenge in life uh, than what life already offers us. But it is really great to be able to come together in a community and grow and practice new habits and really focus in on that one thing that matters most to us. And this year, we're really going back to basics on some of those things. So um, some of the staples of what 31 days or 30 days had been for a long time are things like um, getting water, getting sleep, um, eating clean, you know, if that's your thing, been using essential oils and being creative every single day. Well, this year, um, we're using a 31 day journal. I sent it already out to existing She Makes Club members. Um, 31 days is gifted. It's included inside your She Makes Club membership. But this year for the first time ever, I have broken it out that you can just participate in the 31 days and it's a dollar a day and you'll get all the resources, you'll get all the cut files, you'll get all the PDF downloads and journal sheets, you'll get all the inspiration, all the daily videos and all the weekly live creative workshops. <sighs> There's so much inside this 31 days. Like I'm literally coming out of my skin with excitement and I just can't wait. So I really would love for you to come along and join us on the 31 day she makes her life journey and create, be inspired and encouraged as we go through the entire month of May. I've already started filling the exclusive private group with little pieces of content, little things about making journal cards and how to make your own journal cards and making um, week dividers or page dividers for in your six by eight album. Um, doing little things on why I chose the essential oils I chose, um, giving you the actual templates so you can just print off what I've already done and stick them in your album if you don't feel like actually creating or you feel uncomfortable with creating. So I'm just, I'm so excited. I see all the hearts flying guys. Thank you so much. I know this is just going to be an incredible 31 days, like with my entire soul and being, um, just doing this for myself, which sounds so selfish, but it's been so good. You guys like so, 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 so good. Um, and we're really just going to talk about the different seasons of life that we're in identifying where we're at, giving ourselves grace, um, setting projections for where we want to go, but we're going to do it little by little. We don't need to drink from the fire hose of doing all the things to start changing and being creative and enjoying our life. And that's what it's all about. So thank you. Thank you for the hearts. Thank you for being here. I did want to unbox and do a few things today. Um, a happy Easter weekend. My goodness, what an amazing weekend um, to be able to celebrate the death and resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I'm so um, just thankful for what this weekend has been. And I can't wait to celebrate Easter Sunday tomorrow with the family. And I've just enjoyed so much creativity um, yesterday and today as well. 
So these are a couple things that just arrived in the craft room, in the She Makes Club craft room. Um, this is a new heat press from HTV Runt, and R-O-N-T Runt stands for Really Outstanding Never Temporary. Um, and they have come out with a heat press that is, I believe it's 10 by 10. Yep, 10 inches by 10 inches. And I love the gold and mint teal color green. Uh, they sent this to me to be able to review, to test out, to try out. I love the colors. It's going to look beautiful over on my other desk behind me or behind you, behind the camera. Uh, it's going to look beautiful over there. I'm probably going to put it on my table mate. It's so pretty. Um, and I can't wait to kind of test it out and try it out. I'm going to pull it out of the box here in just a minute. And I just wanted to tell you a little bit about them. I did leave a um, link in the description. They are hosting, if you've never heard of HTV Romp before, I've been using their rolls of HTV vinyl for some time now um, because they really are great quality and they're cost effective. They're a really cost effective option. So here's a couple of the rolls. They have some chameleon transfer vinyl. They have, um, what is this one? Oh, this one is the, just the, uh, gold transfer vinyl as well. Um, heat transfer vinyl, my goodness, craft the lanch. And then I have some big rolls that I really like. And the rolls are great with my Explorer cause I can put them in the roll folder and just whoop, 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 and we're done. So this will be really cool. And then this is something else that I'm excited about. Um, I'm nervous about this is something that we're not really going to use until after or I'm not going to use until after 31 days are over. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit about it in a minute, but this company called promptly journal, I don't know if journals, I don't know if you've ever heard of it before. I had not heard of it until they reached out to me. Uh, beautiful guided journals. And I'm all about a good guided journal. I'm all about making guided journals. I'm all about helping you guys through guided journals. It's part of what 31 days is about. And this seemed really interesting to me. So I'm going to open this up. I think we'll do the promptly journals first. Uh, so you can kind of see, and then we'll open up the heat press and take a look at that, uh, unboxing and you can check that out. But, um, Oh, what I was talking about the HTV Rant, they're having a carnival, a crafters carnival, if you will, right now, I left the link in the description. Um, and they're giving away all kinds of really cool stuff. So it might be a really good opportunity for you to go check them out and just see if there's something additional there that would help in your craft room, help you be creative and uh, enjoy your your craft and creative opportunities in a fun way. All right, so promptly journals. Let's take a look at these guys first. I'm so excited about them. I'm also really nervous about them. I'm not going to lie. Um, they have some really cool sets. I got to go look through uh, their website for quite some time. And like I said, they reached out to me, they sent me this as well as so did HTV Rant, which was kind of funny because I had already been using a lot of the HTV Rant vinyls when they reached out and said, Hey, would you like our heat press? Would you like, would you do a video on it? Would you unbox it and share it? And I was like, uh, yeah, I will. Cause it's beautiful. <laughs> so, all right, here we go. We're going to open this up. I'm going to switch camera views and let you take a look at that. Okay, so I'm nervous about these. <laughs> I'm really excited, but I'm also really nervous. Okay, so these are, I did get a couple different things. So this is the Promptly Journals. This is the Self Love Prompted Journal with the Wild Flowers. Um, first of all, it's so beautiful. I love the gold coil. This is the one I'm most nervous about, but also very excited about. This is a Grief Journal set. And part of the reason they reached out was because they knew about my sister Erin uh, passing and that I've been doing a lot of documenting and processing of that grief and that story and different things. So one of the things that they have put together are grief and loss journal bundles to help guide you and process life. And to me, that's what being creative, that's what journaling, that's what scrapbooking is a thousand percent all about to me is it's a way to process life, tell your story, the, the story that you lived, celebrate the moments, celebrate the highlight reel, celebrate, um, the successes and the wins, 
and then set an intention for the future that you want to create. And I feel like journals and scrapbooking are my number one way of doing that. So I'm trying to get the, <laughs> get the packaging off. Oh my word, they're beautiful, beautiful, beautiful journals. Let me see if I can easily, I say easily, let's see if I can, nope, I'm gonna zoom you out a little. You're gonna see other pieces on my desk, so. Sorry about that, but all right. Hopefully that works. Okay, so this is the Remembrance Journal. It's a prompted journal. I love the constellations in it. Um, this journal is in memory of, okay, I'm already gonna like get choked up here. Wow. Uh, this journal is in memory of, you write the person's name when they were born and when they passed away. And ugh, wow, there's like a letter here in the beginning and memories. <laughs> your laugh sounded like, your eyes were like, your hands were like, your personality was like, things that bothered you. <laughs> Your favorite things were interest, hobbies, pastimes. One of your quirks were my first memory with you. My favorite part of you was my least favorite part of you was my last memory of you. Just very simple, little guided, gentle things. Um, movies that remind me of you. Music that reminds me of you. These are really beautiful. These are, this is beautiful. So there's so many different things. I regret the following. Man, what a way wow, what a way to process and release some things of people that have passed away. I know one of the biggest things we talked about in Beauty from Ashes was releasing regrets, rejections, resentments. Um, wow, what a way to do that. I mean, I don't know why I never even thought that to have this type of guided situation. Now this, I, I can tell you right now, I'm already choked up just looking through this. So if this is something that... Um, you're interested in, I would definitely encourage and say, make sure you're gentle with yourself and take it slow. You don't have to drink from the fire hose and write the entire story and process uh, everything in two seconds. Like I want to sometimes, I don't want to always feel the feels when it comes to grief or loss or things that have happened. But I can tell you that scrapbooking and journaling uh, tangibly are one of the, one of the biggest things that have helped me um, improve my faith in God connect with him, grow as a person. Um, so this can be a really beneficial tool for a lot of people. I believe it's, it's really cool that they did this. So then there's a whole bunch of just blank note sections to write memories, places to put in pictures. Um, where were you when, when they passed, how old were you? How did they die? Um, things that you might want to fill in about their memorial service. Even, um, you can put in the obituaries, uh, the program, service program, where were the services held, what were things like on that day. Um, well, there, it's like a ton of details are in here and just extra note pages and extra thoughts and things that you would want to process and do. Um, this, I can tell you, would be very cathartic, um, therapeutic. Uh, whew, it's, a, it's a lot, but... Um, I think it's really beautiful. So I'm really excited that they put these things together. This is, this was a bundle. These two came together and this is the grief side. Now, um, it talks a lot about healing. Uh, this is a bad moment, not a bad life. Uh, there's just little things, small things that suddenly feel hard in the ways grief is more multifaceted than I ever thought. Oh gosh, yeah, grief is so much more multifaceted than I ever would have thought when it came to losing her. Um, how to handle the triggers. It's not something that ever really goes away. Uh, this really sucks, and here are the reasons why. Um, I'm processing my grief when it's hard. What makes me feel angry? I give myself permission to feel. Grief is a tunnel, not a cave. Um, how my life has changed, I'm grateful for. I felt loved and understood when. These are just beautiful, beautiful prompts and tons of places to just write your own story in. So again, it's by Promptly Journals. Uh, I did leave a link as well. Um, this is my first time opening them and ever really touching them, but it's excited. Hi, Tammy. Um, and they have a lot lighter things too. Like I said, they reached out knowing about Erin and this was their gift to me. And then the other thing that is a gift to myself is this self-care.
self-care, self-love prompted journal. And again, this is a little bit different. This is spiral bound. These are, oh, wow, look at that. Remembering you. <gasps> I didn't even notice that the first time. Remembering you on the spine. Okay. Um, and then this is a prompted journal on self-love. And this is cool because it has little like gold section tab dividers. That's kind of snazzy and fancy. So things about finding yourself. Let's see, is there a table of contents? Name and date started. Let's see what's all in here. Oh, I guess this just kind of goes right in. Ooh, there's weekly exercises, things that you love about yourself, things about the people closest to you, characteristics you want to develop. Ooh, I love this. This is all, this is all right up my alley. Um, make a list of talents. Uh, what challenges have you overcome lately? When you feel stressed, how do you react? Oh, it's good stuff. So this is a self-love journal. Body positivity uh, is a section. Looks like these are all part of body positivity. We'll go, what's, what else is here? We'll go by the, the little section tabs. This is healthy relationships. We need relationships, but we have to accept and belong, and belong to ourselves first before we can have healthy relationships. Um, interesting. Positive qualities to friendships. Gosh, there's so much here. Uh, so I thought these were really cool, like I said. So I just wanted to share that with you, uh, let you know, you know, this is something that I'm probably going to dig into a little bit more. Um, and I'll just share bits and pieces of the story and the journey. Aren't they beautifully designed? I agree, Jennifer. Uh, the name of the company, Wendy, is called Promptly Journals. Promptly Journals. And here is the link to them. Just so you have it. Oh boy, can I can I put in my comment, please? That would be great. Um, they sent these to me, beautiful gift, and wanted me to share them with you also, which I love doing. So again, I'll share more about these stories and the things that we're putting in it inside She Makes Club throughout the rest of this year. I am sure this is going to be a beautiful thing um, for me. And I know it's going to cause a lot of tears because literally just opening it up and reading some of those prompts kind of emotional. <laughs> Glad I did this first because now we can go a little lighter and go back to something a little bit more uh, creative and crafty and fun. But you know what? It might be really important for you. And I'm just going to leave it at this. It might be really important for you and it might be a great next step um, in processing your life to have some type of guided thing. But that's also what we're doing in 31 days. Ah, I can't wait. I can't wait. Okay. Let's check out this guy, shall we? This is the 10 by 10. HTV Ront Heat Press. And the Ront, R-O-N-T, stands for Really Outstanding, Never Temporary. Looks like they have two colors, which is kind of cool. Um, they look very similar. Not going to lie. look very similar to uh, Cricut's Easy Press. I'll be interested to compare them side by side. I don't have the 10-inch Easy Press. I don't remember what size I have. Um, I use my, this is the one I use the most is my mini press. I use this thing like constantly. I didn't ever think I would need this type of like mini iron. I use it all the time. It's like my favorite thing ever. So it sits right here on my desk and it's there. So, all right. We got a burlap bag inside. Now let's open this guy up. I'm going to make sure I'm not missing any comments here either. It feels like I want them hidden. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, wow. It's so pretty. Oh, look at that gold. Look at that gold. Look at that gold. Oh, wow. Pretty, 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 pretty. I love the color. Okay. All right. I'm going to, you know, read the instructions. Look at this. This is a nice large 10 inch by 10 inch. It's got its, you know, base to keep it from melting anything on your surfaces, which is always helpful. Uh, our outlet, our outlet, our plug. 
All right, simple convenient operations. Yeah, temperature. It looks very similar to the cricket, obviously. Um, let's. Ooh, pressure shown. Ooh. So it tells you exactly the amount of pressure that you are applying on the screen. Are you serious? Well, that's cool. So here, look, it's, it shows you how much pressure. It says pressure shown five pounds. This is the amount of time. You can go up or down with the time and temperature. And then there's the temperature. And of course, you can go from 70 degrees Fahrenheit to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And the time goes from one second to 999 seconds. I don't know that you would ever need 999 seconds, but what do I know? Um, oh, wow, there are so many different things here. So it's just a simple turn on. There's some cool features. So place on the clothes on the insulation pad, uh, position the vinyl, do, 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 light pressure one hand or the machine by itself. Medium pressure is two handed. And that's what these guys are for on the side. So you can press down. That's kind of cool. Do you see these little like handles on the side or on both sides? So that way you can press down and give it more pressure. Kind of cool. Uh, heavy pressure is 33 to 50 pounds. Low pressure is six to 11. Medium is 11 to 33. That's cool. That's really, really cool. Um, don't put it in water. And then here's all their different vinyls. Very cool. Very cool stuff. Oh, and they have little mini, mini ones too. Mint green, vibrant orange, and raspberry red. Very cool. All right. So, like I said, I just wanted to share this with you. Uh, I will be making with it, I'm sure, very, very soon. Uh, but I just didn't want you to miss out on the carnival that this company, HTV Rant, is in the process of right now. So I did leave the link for you as well for that. So you can check it out anytime. Okay. That was kind of close to a candle. I didn't realize. Uh, you can check it out at any time. <clears throat> and... Um, I like the one that I sent you over. And if you're interested in this, uh, the link is also provided. So this is just, I love this gold trim and the handles are pretty clever. The fact that it shows you the pressure that is, that is a little different. That is a different, pretty cool feature. Um, and it's a beautiful plate. All right. So we'll be giving this guy some love in the craft room really, really, really soon. Um, I just wanted to make sure that I shared this with you before we got into the 31 days, because I can tell you right now that, um, as we get into the 31 days, there's videos and there's, there's happenings every single day. I actually just did a little walkthrough video <clears throat> for, um, members to kind of see some of the things that we, we set up so far. So things like the vision with the, how to do the tab dividers and all of those things. And then Spotify code songs, you can do actual playable, uh, journal cards. So you can meditate on those songs or just enjoy them as you're crafting and creating. You can do whole playlists or you can just do, you know, the song that matters to you and how to make those. So that's all part of what we're doing in the 31 days. And then, like I said, there is a PDF journal guided, um, journal sheet, like basically for every single day, just one simple question. This isn't something that you're going to take hours and hours every single day of May to do. This is little by little step-by-step -step support in your life and your journey to live it the way that you most want, that the goals that matter to you, the, the life and the things that set your soul on fire. Really? This is setting mine on fire big time. <laughs> I'm so excited to do it. So I really hope I see you inside the 31 days. I would really love to ask you to spread the word. If you know crafty, creative friends who are just maybe feeling a little bit down in life or a little stuck, or maybe they're entering the next journey um, and phase of life, maybe it's a new season that they're going into, I would highly suggest um, or love if you would invite them in, let them know what we're going to be doing. And um, yeah, we'll have a lot of fun together. All right. I will see you again really soon. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the Easter weekend. Um, so excited for tomorrow. So I hope that you are as well and you have a great day. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.